And we are back, people. As y'all all recall, the Komodo Dragon tip or the Zelda Goron Fire Temple tip for the little kid of Link. So now, we're going to go ahead and open it up and get it ready for the shaft that we're going to make. All right, let's begin, shall we? Let's go ahead and get you angled. Yeah, you see it. Then we're also gonna not only do that, but we're gonna put the things in it too. The two spike tips. Just some ordinary nails, but they're heavy duty wood nails that are old and rusted. You gonna add to the put arrows? You gonna actually get the house done? Still daylight. And I can finish that up real quick. Cause all I need is the bottom piece, 38 and a half inch. On top and bottom, then I need Why don't you go ahead and cut it and finish it real quick and then get back to that? That's a hobby, Tanner, not a necessity. I know it's a hobby, and I want to do my hobby while it's still daylight. Are you finished cutting? Because Miss Wendy wants to talk to you. It's gonna look something about like this. You just want it opened up almost in a right angle. 90 degrees right angle. We got.
Now, I done told my grandmother she likes it. She don't know what she's gonna do with me because I guess you consider this blacksmithing or armor or I don't know what you consider this. I just consider it a hobby. Now, we got the arrow tip. We got the two nails for the things. Alright. I already did it once so I know the measurements that I want. Which, for my arm length, you'll have to measure your own arm length, but I found that good old 30 inch board between 29 and 31 inches, I used 30 for my arm length. Cut it about, well, I don't exactly know the actual size because most of this I eye because you can see a lot more with your eye. But, yeah. This is going to be the shaft. Cedar wood. It's nice, durable. So, let's cut it here and we'll get to making the shaft. 